Hey guys, it's Peach Fuzz HD here, and it's Christmas still, I think. Uh, nope, no, it's not. It's the 26th. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some simple 3D text. Um, I'm surprised I haven't even done this yet, but it's my new computer, and I'm excited, so let's get started. Uh, what you want to do first is open Cinema 4D, obviously. And uh, after you have it open, go to this little uh, freehand tool, click and hold, and click text. Uh, change, it, change it to what you want. I'm going to change it to. Uh, And, uh, let's see, font, I really don't have any fonts, I haven't downloaded anything. Uh, do I want to, not now. Oh, wait. I haven't really downloaded, I'm gonna use this one. Whatever works. Alright, I really don't have any fonts, so, you know, because I just got this computer, so. After that, you want to go to this little Hyperbs Nerbs, and ex at click, uh, click and hold, and, uh, click Extrude Nerbs. Drag the text onto it, and y you have three text now. And um, let's see, click on the extrude nerves. Uh, the object properties. When you click on it, it should be an object. Change this to 80. After that, you want to copy and paste. Go back here again with object properties. Change it to 40. Put the caps on to fill it cap. Fill it cap. Uh, you can change this to however you want. I like them small. I don't like them big. That's what she said. But change, turn it to the side so you can put them in the middle so it gives it that nice little 3D uh, looking kind of outer. Turn it back. And let's see. Right there. So after that, you want to add maybe um, a plane. So I think the plane is. That's a floor. Plane. Bam plane. Add a plane uh, over here, put just a bunch of nines. So it's kind of uh, unlimited around you. And let's see, we're going to add a little light. Add the light to, we're going to put it up here. Turn from the side a little bit, put it out. And we're going to rotate it so it's uh, facing downwards. So it's kind of like only aiming at that. Um, if you want, let's see, we, we don't need to. That's fine right there. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, it's not really glossy, so we're going to add a light, go to shadow. This might take a little bit longer to render, but put the shadow map to soft. Uh, go to plane. Alright, we're going to make a new texture or material. The color I want would be, I like this color a lot, go right to here, that nice blue, put a reflection, brightness to about 10, Fresnel, and put this to 20, gives it that, you know, nice reflected look, uh, we want this to that, so, uh, the, nah, I don't like that, that, see, the, let's see, I did not mean to add Q, my bad, the shadow, you can see how the let's put it from this side let's make another one and also if you guys do not want to you know get lazy if you guys get lazy uh well all my preset materials are gone usually if you go to file load pre material preset there's a million out of thousands to thousands to thousands uh but let's see where to go to i don't even look into it all right well, screw it i don't care we're gonna make a new material Double click this, we're going to change this to a, a little dark gray. Chorus reflection, the same exact thing, guys. Fresno 20. Um, let, I'm going to do that. Oh, I need click clicking that damn cube. Alright, let's render this out. And you can see the glossiness. Um, if I zoom up, let me. Not let me zoom up. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. If you look right here, uh, when I render it out, watch. You can see the glossiness from this to this, so it's uh, really good. And also, if you get it up to, let's see, we're gonna move it up to right here. Right there, we're gonna move it up again. We're gonna move it up again. And you render it out like this, and you put it into Photoshop. You could add a Gaussian blur kind of thing, so it looks it looks pretty cool actually. You can maybe put somebody sitting up here. I don't know. You can do a lot of uh, neat little combinations. So 
that's been a simple tutorial, guys. Um, I'll show you the render output. Put, put this to 1280, 720. Um, save wherever you would like. Uh, I've saved to my desktop. Uh, test. After that, we want to uh, go down here. PNG. Um, save it as PNG. Where is that? Alright, PNG. Uh, if you want it to be transparent where it doesn't show this bottom, uh, you can just out click off the channel. I always do that because I always do it in Photoshop. Uh, you can put ambient occlusion and also where it's a global illumination, but um, it just takes a little bit longer time rendering. It might take a, not that much time because I've got a, a better computer now. But um, yeah, guys, that's been it. I'll show. I'll pause it right now and I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Alright guys, I am back and this is finished, so let's see what this looks like. And it looks all nice, um, glossy, you can see, I don't know, those are pixels, but who cares. Uh, all the nice gloss, and that's it guys, I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, subs subscribe, you know, more tutorials coming out since I have this amazing computer, it's not that great, but I love it. So, subscribe guys, peace.